Narrative names. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, hey there. How's it going? Well, I always like for the first class just to have a very easy intro art project. And I think narrative names is not only easy, but it's fun. And we get to know more about each other. But now that I think about it, I know what names are, but what is narrative? Hmm. Well, according to trusty Google, a narrative is a piece of writing that focuses on telling a story. Oh, I got it. So since we're making narrative names, obviously we're going to be making a narrative about ourselves. Well, the first thing you want to do is grab your journal and we're going to start brainstorming things that only you know about yourself. For the example I'm going to present to you, I will use likes and narratives about me. Well, the first thing has to be my dog. He's my best bud. Now, I love in the summer to go swimming, so I'd put that down for sure. And just being outside in nature is a really a plus. Um, I just moved into my high-rise apartment, so I love that. And I'm right next to the lake, so I get to go biking. And my favorite food definitely should be here, which is pizza. I have a best fish in the world. His name is Clive Davis, so he's got to be on there. Obviously, I'm an artist. And let's see, my Jeep. Love to go road tripping and travel in my Jeep. And last but not least, my family. What would this look like? Well, first, I'd probably want to sketch out all of my ideas so I kind of know what they're going to look like and then figure out how they're going to go into the letters. After I feel I'm ready, I'm going to grab my final copy paper. And as I like to say, the first thing you do is always the same. You pick up a pencil and you write your name and class code. Don't forget. Next up, mapping out your letters. The first thing I like to do is to count the letters in my name and then space them using just lines on my final paper using a very, very light mark because you're going to be erasing them. Once you have the lines mapped out, you could start adding your letters of your name. Again, drawing very lightly. Next, I'm going to start adding those symbols that are going to give me that narrative name. If you remember, I live in a high rise, so I'm going to use the sides of my M to create the high rise buildings. And I'm going to make sure to add things like windows and antennas. It just makes it more fun. And I think for the V part of the M, I'm going to create that bike trail that I love to ride on with my bike. I'm going to make my A into my favorite car, my Jeep. Voila. It's so lifelike. <laughs> All right, so I think you get the picture. So let's look at some examples to help inspire you. 